All right. Well, I had to kind of set this up on the fly, but I think I think it's going to work. Yesterday was a holiday. It was Foundation Day when the god or the demigod Tangun came down to earth and um, started the Korean nation back 5,000 years ago. <laughs> of course, science has shown us that the Koreans are genetically related to Southeast Asians. There was talk at one time that because uh, the people in the Altai region in Central Asia had very similar customs to the Koreans, there was talk that the people in Altai were related to the Koreans, where the, the, is where the Koreans came from, but genetics has shown that that's not so. Genetically, the Koreans came from Southeast Asia originally. But that was, that was so long ago. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I smell diesel, it takes me back to my army days. <laughs> we smelled diesel quite a bit. And I do like the smell on a rifle firing range. I like that smell of spent, spent rounds. The little bits of smoke that waft through the air after you fired a rifle. When I get back to America, I gotta get me a rifle. Something good. I'd like to get a, an AK-74, but I don't know if we're allowed to do that. AKs, um, the Kalashnikov rifles, are really, really good. I fired uh, an AK-47 when I was in Siberia back a few years ago, several years ago. And I, that, that was the highlight of my trip to Russia, honest to God. You know, that hour I spent on the firing range, that was the highlight of my trip. It was, it was pretty great. I, I'd love to relive that. I'd love to go back and do that again. So anyway, whatever this, uh, whatever this uh, holiday is next Wednesday, our Wednesday classes have been screwed over royally. And um, we have had Chuseok. There was no class on Wednesday, Chuseok week, Harvest Festival week. Um, oh, and there was a, there was a day and there was another Wednesday off, and then next Wednesday we got off. So it's going to be like 20%, maybe 25% of their classes, I, I can't do math in my head, um, are not going to meet. So this Wednesday class, they're kind of at a disadvantage. And I know they're happy about it, but I also know I've seen their midterm exam, and I know that they're not ready for it. They have to do a speaking exam with me, one-on-one -on -one speaking exam. And what I told them, I said, if they come to my office in person, they could, they could uh, earn up to 10 points, but depending on how well they do, they might not earn 10 points. But if they come see me in Second Life, they have a guaranteed 10 points. I told them, I said, I don't care how well you speak. If you can get in Second Life and you speak with me and we have a conversation, I'm giving you an automatic 10 points. And that was my incentive to get them into Second Life. Um, Second Life has a bad rap, I know. And that's a shame that a, a bunch of perverts and, you know, um, they've, they've kind of ruined Second Life as far as the, the perception of the general public. But I'm involved in education in Second Life. And uh, we don't live in a fantasy dream world with fake friends. 
these are actual real people behind these avatars and it's just an interesting it's an interesting way to have as realistic um, a relationship conversation whatever you want to call it as possible without actually being there physically okay that guy really 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 wanted to get into the road I should have let him because now he's pissed socially a motorcycle is almost the lowest rung on the vehicular ladder bicycle is bicycle and pedestrian is lower than me but yeah so I, I push a little bit I push my weight around what little I got here on this bike because motorcycles get treated like crap here um, motorcyclists they strike back by just you know um, running through red lights uh, you know uh, lane splitting lane splitting is neither legal nor illegal here I don't think there is any policy about lane splitting in Korea but you'll see all kinds of, uh, of, of stuff that motorcyclists do here that are dangerous unexpected they they throw car drivers off uh, car drivers don't know what to expect from the motorcycles it's a, just a dangerous situation I can't see the light I'm at the I'm at the line here but I there's no light for me I can't see the light it's all there up there I can see it how do you know when it's your turn to go maybe that light Maybe that lights all right anyway um so if they would just uh, if they would just regulate and incorporate motorcyclists into their their psyche of of traffic, I think motorcyclists would start uh, behaving themselves. So there's a lot of social stuff that needs to go on in Korea before motorcyclists are. <coughs> are accepted as real vehicles on the road. So I've been trying to clean my apartment. What a mess. Uh, my whole intention was to have as little as possible as I worked my way up to leaving Korea. That's us. And I, I haven't really bought anything per se, it's just some useful temporary items, but uh, I still seem to have as much junk as I've always had, even though I sent 22 boxes back to my sister's garage in Michigan. So, I don't know, what. most of my junk's in the room where my computer is, and... What happens is, I turn on the computer, just maybe to play iTunes or, I don't know, play a video or something while I'm cleaning. And then, well, then I get into the music or I get in or I'm, I'm curious about my email. Or I'll check Facebook or Twitter or something. And then I got my ass on the chair and I'm not working. Bad Michael. Maybe I should take the chair out of the room. <laughs> I have, I rock a discipline. I have a no discipline. It's not that far um, from my house to downtown, Suwon is about 10 kilometers, which is what, six miles? So it's 
not that bad. Not a bad trip at all. We're coming back into my neighborhood now. I was thinking about going and doing some geocaching today, but I've been I've been going geocaching on days that I'm free, which means I'm not home cleaning my apartment, which means I can come home and uh, and the stench hits me in the in the face like a frying pan. So I gotta stay home. I gotta clean. Definitely gotta clean and. Good God, I'm sleeping on sheets I haven't washed for a month. So, yeah, I, I think I'm going to just, uh, okay, no geocaching until my apartment's clean. And uh, that'll keep me, yeah, well, no, I, I can do that. That kind of thing I can do. So I'm also anxious to get home and see how this uh, microphone did in this helmet and uh, see if this uh, moto vlog actually turned out Imat! Imata! I was going to buy a helmet down here at um, the shop. This is my street. And uh, he said come back tomorrow. He didn't have any today. Well, this is tomorrow. And I, had, I was kind of, I didn't want to wait. And this guy on the left, he had one. But he was going to give me $10 off if I paid cash. So I told him I was going to go to the bank. I didn't go. This is the place uh, there. Uh, he didn't see me. I don't think they care. Businessmen. I didn't promise him that I was going to buy it. I just said I had to go to the bank. <laughs> but I ended up going to Suwon. So that I could make a, voto, a moto vlog coming back. Alright. That's my apartment house right there everybody. And I'm going to park my little bike. And see what I can do about this video. All right, my beloveds, thanks for watching. See you next time on Mike of Korea.